Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course, Aspects of Biochemical Engineering. And last uh, couple of lectures, uh, we, we try to discuss the different numerical problems on uh, the kinetics of substrate utilization, product formation and biomass production using microbial cells. Now today, uh, we, this, is, this, is the, this is the uh, last part of, of the numerical problems that uh, uh, we are going to discuss today and uh, and in last couple of classes uh, uh, we uh, we we try to uh, tell you that uh, how to analyze the batch system how to analyze the chemostat how to analyze the plug flow reactor and then also we we talk about some inhibition problem substrate inhibition product inhibition all this we try to <coughs> discuss and also we try to find out uh, the procedure or you know that uh, technique through which we can find out the um, kinetic constants like uh, maximum specific growth rate, saturation constant, true growth yield and the maintenance coefficient. Now today this lecture uh, we, we try to cover a little bit different but um, uh, 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 but you know what we want to <laughs> tell here that uh, the how the we already discussed how the batch data uh, can help you to find out uh, the the data that for the chemostat process. As for example, from the uh, from the batch analysis, we can find out that at a particular dilution rate, what will be the cell mass concentration in a chemostat we can easily find out from the uh, batch process that uh, that uh, then then we, we we try to discuss the different type of systems as for example that uh, if we use the multiple reactor in series how you can find out the cell mass concentration because we have seen before that uh, in case of cascade type of fermenter that uh, you can easily determine the uh, substrate concentration in different reactors, cell mass concentration in different reactors by doing the substrate balance, cell mass balance. But for when you do that, then we have come across a different type of quadratic equation, then you still have to solve it. But you know this problem, when you, when you the problem that I shall discuss, I shall show you how graphically you can find the cell mass concentration after n number of reactors. And also, uh, what will be the pattern that we have in case of uh, the dioxy growth of the cells? Uh, this is the dioxy growth, we know it is special type of growth because in the, if the media contains more than one carbon source, some cases until and unless one carbon source is totally exhausted, other carbon source will not be utilized. So, so, after this, again we shall go for the chemostat process to find out the, uh, the cell that uh, what is the, uh, the time required for a particular amount of substrate conversion and all these things by using gymomonas mobilis for a particular product formation we try to find out. And after that, at the end, what I am planning to discuss that uh, how uh, this lutecking pirate model we can use just to find out that when at what dilution rate you can have we can have the maximum uh, rate of product formation and also from the uh, from the d max uh, value we know d max equal to mu max into 1 minus root over k s by place by s0 how you can find out the maximum dilution rate at will we will get the maximum rate of cell mass concentration. So, when we say, let us start with this first two problem that we have and, and if you look at this problem, the that here <coughs> that uh, the problem says that mass balance 
of, of for component C in batch or plug flow reactor and chemostates are this. This were for the batch and plug flow reactor D C by D T equal to F C that is the function of C and in case of steady state chemostat D C 0 minus C equal to minus F C. Because we, uh, we have we have seen in case of uh, chemostat process because in case of batch or batch process T batch in case of uh, T batch uh, what we can write T batch equal to what we have seen that uh, uh, minus D C by minus R C am I right this is uh, this is same as your tau's plug flow reactor plug flow reactor this we have seen but the in case of tau C S T R we have observed this is equal to C 0 minus C by minus R C the rate of degradation of C. Okay. Now, this is the exactly that uh, they try to find out that this is D C D into uh, C 0 minus C function of C and this is like this. Now, since the F C is available from the uh, by differentiation a plot of F C and versus C can be constructed for the batch data and uh, equation 2 indicates the plot of C 0 uh, minus C versus C will intersect F C plus C as C star correspond to the solution C. Now, what does it mean actually? Let me let me explain this. So, in a batch process, so suppose when you talk about the batch process, now in the batch process how you operate with this is the reactor that we have and uh, and this is ro rotating like this. So, time to time you draw the sample. So, what you can do you we can at different time we can have different substrate concentration and different cell mass concentration am I right. And then we can find out d x by d t and uh, I told you d x by d t how we can find out d x by d t equal to x n plus 1 minus x n minus 1 divided by 2 del, del t that is the uh, n is the number of sampling point 1, 2, 3, 4 like this. Now, in this in this particular batch data what we can do we can plot d x by d t versus x am I right and then we have the plot like this. Now, now what this problem says in the C S T R what you have d c 0 minus c equal to minus function of c am i right now uh, what is the what is this slope slope stands for this is if you consider this is zero then this slope with the tan theta is tan theta is equal to what you have this uh, uh, this altitude versus base that is dx by dt divided by x am i right and this is equal to mu and we know in case of uh, in case of uh, chemostat under steady state condition and sterile feed mu equal to d. So, uh, so this uh, that means this is a particular dilution rate. So, we can have different dilution rate we can we can have different. Uh, so, this uh, this uh, they they instead of x they are considering c this is replaced by c. So, this is this is indicating the c star this is indicating the c star. So, this is the, this is how in this problem uh, we can we can make the correlate the batch process with the chemostat process. Now, the problem is that considering the logistic equation d x equal to by d t equal to mu x 1 minus x by x max mu equal to 1 our inverse x max x max is the maximum cell concentration 10 gram per liter and x 0 feed is 0 <coughs> solve the extra graphically for the case when d equal to 1.5 hour inverse 0 0.75 hour inverse 0 0.25 hour inverse using the, the method discussed above and verify your results directly from the uh, direct solution analytically. So, what we shall have to do we shall have to solve it both graphically as well as analytically. So, let us see how we can solve it and, and uh, other other portion the, of the problem is that for the fermenters in series the outlet from one chemostat 
is the inlet condition for the next and so graphically how would you evaluate x 3 dash the biomass concentration of the thus CSTR in 3 reactor cascade <coughs> with a overall dilution rate of 0.75. So, we shall have to find out that suppose we have the, this is one CSTR and this is another CSTR and this is the CSTR that we have they are they are connecting to each other. So, we shall here we have x 1 star here a at the steady state condition x 2 star and here you have x 3 star. So, we shall have to find out what is the x 3 star when d equal to 0.75 hour inverse. This is the problem that we have. Now, <coughs> last problem that inspect the data from dioxy growth carefully and differentiate is graphically and plot d x by d t versus x. How does this plot differ from the same of simple logistic form sketch using the graphical design procedure above a solution of 5 tanks in series which consume all of the glucose and most of the second carbohydrate as well. So, we know the dioxy growth means what dioxy growth means if you have the cell mass concentration with respect to time. So, it is going like this and then until unless first carbon source is totally exhausted the second carbon source will not be utilized. The nature of dioxy growth is like this. The during this dioxy growth what will be the nature of the graph if we plot d x by d t versus x what should be the nature of plot that we shall have to find out and, and then we shall have to find out graphically that you show me under what circumstances if we use 5 tank, tanks in series it consume not only the car first carbon source, but also it will consume the second carbon source. Now, this is the uh, this is the solution that we have the logistic equation that has been given d x equal to mu x a, a 1 minus x by x max. Now, what we can do here every all values are given the mu value is point uh, is a 1 1 hour inverse x max is 10 gram per liter and x 0 is. So, I say we shall have to what we shall we shall have to do we shall have to plot d x by d t we shall have to plot d x by d t versus x am I right. So, what we can do we can may prepare a table in the table we have two column one is x another is d x by d t. So, this d x by d t will come here this x will be here. Now, we know maximum value of x x max is, is, is 10 gram per liter. So, we can assume this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 we can assume a respective value of d x by d t we can find it out. And if we have this then we will be having this kind of plot you know this this plot we will be having we can we can have a plot like this. And once we have this plot then we shall have to find out that uh, that at different dilution rate uh, one is uh, d equal to 1.5 hour inverse 0 0.75 hour and 0.25 hour inverse what will be the uh, x value. Now, if you if you if you consider d value is 1.5 we find that tan theta is a little bit high. So, it will not touch the curve. So, we can we can we can assume that this is the situation where uh, the cells will be washed out from the system because you know this we can easily visualize from this uh, that you know your uh, that you know that uh, this is this from this particular figure that you know this is uh, the there should be no cell present in the reactor that when we do the it analytically then also we can justify how it happens. But when we have 0.75 then it touches the curve here. So, your cell mass concentration will be 2.5. Now, when you have 0.25 dilution rate then is 0.75. Now, we know 1 by d equal to HRT am I right. Now, that means if the dilution rate is high that means you are allowing the cell to resize in the reactor for smaller period of time. And if the d value is low that means you are keeping the cell for longer period of time then naturally you have more cell uh, growth in the in the reactor. Now, next next problem that we have that you know that we have uh, this analytical analytically we can solve like this 
that this is the logistic equation that we have. Now, we can bring this 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 side and may we can write mu equal to d, then we have the correlation like this and then we can find out the expression for x equal to x max equal to we can write in other way we can write in this form. Then, then we have this equation we have we have x equal to 10, 10 x max is the 10 value 1 minus d by 1 by 1. Now, in this equation if we put the value of d 1.5 directly in this equation is value is, is uh, x value is coming about minus 5 which is which is not possible am I right. So, so this is that means this is kind of a situation when there is should not be any cell present in the reactor, but 0 0.75 it is 2.5 and 0 0.25 it is 0.7.5. So, in the graphically also we find almost the same results. So, there is a disimbalance between the between the graphical and the analytical that uh, solution of this particular problem. Now, if you if you if you look at the second case that what is saying that uh, same curve we have now 0.75. So, I as I told you there uh, they try to use the cascade fermenter that means, 3 CSTR that will be in series this they are they are connecting to each other am I right. And uh, they are they 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 have the same dilution rate d equal to 0.75 power inverse. Now, here if you look at this angle is uh, 0.75 this is 0.75 and this is 0.75. So, this is uh, this same same angle that we maintain that means, 0.75 dilution rate here we have the value of x 1 and then uh, here we have the value of x 2 this is the point that we have and here we have the value of x 3. So, uh, graphically we can easily find out that after third reactor in series what will be the concentration of the reactor under concentration of the cell mass uh, under steady state condition is very easily find out. Now, if you go to the last part of this problem what is saying that uh, we are we are talking about dioxy growth of the organism. The usually the logistic growth is like this that you know that exponential will grow like this with respect to time, but in the in the dioxy growth I told you that if the media comprises of more than one carbon source some of the organism has the characteristics the until and unless the first carbon source is fully utilized the other carbon source cannot be utilized due to the uh, the nature of metabolism of the particular organism so this is the nature of dioxy growth now if we <coughs> if we write this uh, this uh, di dioxy growth in the in in case of uh, this uh, dx by dt versus x we will get the nature of the plot is like this. So, this will be the nature of the plot in the logistic equation we have and dioxy growth we have this kind of plot that we have. Now, <coughs> what we can do here now uh, they are saying that uh, uh, that uh, we shall have to run 5 reactor in series. So, in in series so and we shall have to prove under what circumstances all the carbon source will be exhausted first as well as second. Now, let us take the example suppose we have we maintain this uh, dilution rate then we we can have this we can have this we can have this then we can we can have this we can have this. So, if you look at this is x 1 this is x 2 this is x 3 this is uh, might be uh, x 4 the x 5 am I right. So, uh, we assume the most of the substrate consumed here am I right. So, uh, so what we shall have to do we shall have to uh, but then we shall have to change the curve little bit less, uh, more because you know that d value will decrease with the hydraulic detention time we shall have to increase little bit. So, that uh, if you do like this so we can we can see. So, you will find that x 5 when most of the carbon source will be exhausted. So, this is the this is the trajectory how we can find out that under what circumstances all the carbon source will be exhausted. So, we can easily find out if you do the analysis of the particular process. Now, this is the this is the here we have the solution I hope you understand that this is the this is like this 1 2 
this is x 1, this is x 2, x 3, x 4 and x 5. So, when it comes here, we can assume that most of the carbon source will be exhausted. This is how we can solve this problem. Now, let me go to the second, second problem, which is also very interesting. We know gymomonas mobilis that is used for the alcohol fermentation process. Now, in <coughs> gymomonas mobilis, uh, uh, cells are used in a chemostat of 60 cubic meter fermenter. 60 cubic meter means 60,000 liters. Am I right? Now, yield of biomass is about 0 0.06 gram per liter. So, uh, we know that organism under anaerobic conditions they produce the uh, alcohol. Am I right? And under anaerobic condition, the yield cell is very less as compared to uh, aero aerobic process. Aerobic process cell yield always very high. So, that is why you, you see this is 0 0.06 gram of cell per gram of substrate consumed. The product yield is 7.7 .7 gram per gram. The maintenance coefficient 2.2 gram per liter comma hour. Then specific rate of product formation uh, is uh, 3.41 uh, uh, hour. Uh, this should be our inverse, you know, you can make little bit correction. The specific rate of product formation unit should be our inverse and, uh, and because specific rate of product formation is what? d x by d p by d t, am I right? So, this is also gram per liter, this is also gram per liter. So, the what will be this will be time inverse. The, <coughs> the maximum and uh, the maximum specific rate of uh, the, the growth of gymomonas uh, mobilis is 0.3 hour inverse. The feed contains 12 grams per liter of glucose and case of the organism saturation constraints 0.2 gram per liter. The what is the flow rate is required to the steady state condition uh, uh, concentration of the substrate will be 1.5 gram per liter. So, S value that will be under steady state condition is the 1 gram per liter. 1.5 gram that we shall have to find out. So, first we shall have to find out what dilution rate we have this value and if we know the dilution rate, dilution rate equal to what f by v, am I right? Now, <coughs> we know that uh, the our volume of the reactor. So, if you put the volume of the reactor, we can if you know find out the dilution rate, we can easily find out the flow rate. So, this, uh, this uh, problem can be easily solved and then next part of the problem at what dilution rate uh, at, uh, at, the, at the dilution rate of uh, A, what will be the cell density. So, x equal to what? x equal to usually x 0 plus y x x 0 minus s 0 minus s. So, <coughs> here we have uh, if, we, if we consider the sterile feed, then this should be equal to 0. Then y x by s the uh, cell yield already given here is 0 value we know that is uh, and then uh, we can we can find s, uh, s uh, also we know. So, we can easily find out the uh, cell density that what flow rate the concentration of ethanol is what uh, at, at that flow rate what will be concentration of ethanol produced that we have given the uh, the yield of the uh, of the uh, uh, product that is ethanol yield for 7.7 .7 gram of ethanol per gram of uh, cell mass. So, we can easily find out and I told you that whenever we try to solve any kind of problem, it is always uh, recommended that you should write all the parameters. So, we have here these are the parameters that has been given, you please write it down. Then <coughs> let us see that I told you that how to solve it. So, this is the equation that we have then we have this uh, this is uh, uh, d equal to mu max uh, under steady state condition and sterile feed sterile feed this sterile feed means x 0 equal to 0. Then your mu equal to d then we can write mu max s k s plus s am I right. Now, in this uh, problem that uh, all values are mu max value we know s value you know, k s value you know, we can find out the dilution rate. Now, dilution rate equal to f by v and so, f equal to 
d into v. So, your flow rate will be 15.6 cubic meter per hour. So, it is very easy to solve it. Now, once we find out that, we shall have to find out the cell density. How we can find out the cell density? Now, if you do the substrate balance, the rate of input plus the rate of generation of substrate equal to rate of output of, of the substrate plus the rate of consumption of substrate or accumulation of substrate. Now, at under steady state condition, this will be 0 and in case of substrate balance, this will also generation will be equal to 0. So, uh, what we can write uh, that, uh, that uh, here here we can write this is equal to 0 and and this is f s is the is the this is f i is the incoming uh, initial substrate concentration this is final substrate con and and d s by d t that is uh, uh, that is that is contributing for three different purposes one is for cell growth another is product formation and there is maintenance of the cells so this can be written as mu by y x by s q p by uh, y p by s. Where what is the q p? I told you q p is the specific rate of product formation d p by d t. Am I right? So, if you divide by d p by d s, then what you will get uh, d s? This d s, the d p by d p will cancel, then it will be d s by d t, the specific rate of substrate conversion. If you multiply by x, and you will get the amount of substrate utilized for the product formation and if you consider multiplied by volume, you will get consider whole volume. So, if you consider this, uh, you can find out a equation for the x, x is the final cell mass concentration. So, then under steady state condition mu equal to d, if we assume that uh, mu can be replaced by d and then equation will be like this, then, <coughs> then uh, if we, if we, uh, since the product is directly linked with energy metabolism, the, if, uh, uh, the above equation may be related, related is like that. We can assume that uh, there is no product formation here. Then the the the, the mostly that uh, the substrate goes for cell mass formation. Then the equation will be like this, and we can find out the what is the final cell mass concentration. We can find it out. Now, uh, lastly, if you do the product balance, say as uh, similar to your substrate balance, we can have this equation rate of product input is f into p i, the product generation product formation take place d p by d t into v, this is the product output f by p, uh, consumption will be 0 and also accumulation will be 0 under steady state condition. Then if we put p i equal to 0 divided both side by v, then uh, by v if you if you divide then what will get you will get uh, uh, that uh, the equation you will get that uh, this equation i can write like this dp by dt equal to p am i right and uh, dp by this is this equation i can write qp into x by d d is the dilution rate because if you if you divide by p this is p by uh, p a by a by v is there so here a by v is the dilution rate so this we can bring it here this d we can we can take it here so and what is qp is the specific rate of product formation dp by dt so this is repeat we can we can easily multiply that we can you, then we can write this equation like the QP. This uh, this is so DP by this if it is the QP, then I can write the DP by DT equal to QP into X. So that is the what is written, and D will be coming from here, and then we can we, we can come across this equation. We can come across this equation, and we can solve this and find out the product concentration. So, it is, it is it is not very difficult. Now, last problem as I told you that uh, this is with respect to Ludeking pirate model. The kinetics of the microbial growth and substrate and mixed uh, 
uh, growth associated product formations of the chemo state of the equation. This is the we know this is the rate of cell mass formation, rate of substrate degradation, rate of product formation with respect to Ludeking pirate model and these are the different data that is been given in this problem. Okay. Alpha value, beta value, S0 value everything is given. The determine the optimum dilution rate for maximizing the product formation and determine optimum dilution maximizing the cell mass formation. So, this can be solved <coughs> very easily because <coughs> what we can do we can we can write that that we in this equation we, we know the dp equal to this is equal to dp by dx dp by dt equal to alpha dx by dt beta into x this we can write alpha uh, mu plus uh, i can take x common then it will be 1 by x uh, dx by dt that will be mu so alpha mu so this will be alpha mu uh, and uh, and plus beta into x so dp by dt I can write in this form. So, uh, in this equation we can every all values are given just to put the different dilution rate we assume different dilution rate because d max value is given. So, we can assume the d value less than that 0 0.1, 0 0.15, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So, respective s uh, and d, uh, s and x value we can calculate and we can calculate the uh, Q p value that uh, then we can find out the uh, d into p value that is equal to Q p into x that is this is equal to d p by d t am I right. Now, if you plot this is equal to d p by d t. Now, if you plot d p by d t versus d. So, we will be having this kind of plot now at this dilution rate you will get the maximum rate of product formation. So, we can easily find out optimum dilution rate at which you will get the maximum rate of product formation. The, now, in case of cell mass formation that we know this we have done before also that, uh, that, uh, mm, uh, that here also we can find out at different dilution rate what is the uh, x s value and x value we have already calculated. And if you know the x value you can multiply by d and x d and x by s, what is this d x by d t am I right. So, we can if you if you this is equal to d x by d t. Now, now if you if you plot with respect to d, the we will also you will get a dilution rate when you will get the maximum value of d x by d t is maximum. So, that is here also. But so, both uh, we have seen both the product formation and the and the and the and the and the and the cell mass formation uh, we required maximum we required the at uh, the same dilution rate well 0.6 our inverse. So, in this particular uh, lecture I try to um, uh, discuss that uh, critical issue that uh, critical issue with respect to that how batch data can be used uh, uh, for extrapolating to find out the cell mass concentration in a chemostat and how, uh, how the cascade reactor the cell mass concentration of the cascade reactor can be determined graphically, how dioxy growth can be analyzed and then we find out we try to solve some kind of uh, chemostat process and finally, we discuss under at what dilution rate you will get the maximum product formation and also maximum rate of uh, cell mass formation. Thank you very much.